Peter, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today, I have a really cool lick device that you could use with most scales that is really going to give you some different licks to pull from um, and be able to build unlimited arsenal of licks that you can use throughout your playing. And these licks are kind of cool because you can build up some speed with them and they sound kind of flashy and you could keep repeating them over and over so you get this rolling kind of sound. Um, it almost sounds like you're playing a lot faster than you really are. For this lesson I'm playing over a jam track in the key of E minor, okay? And it's so important to always know the chords to what you're soloing over and improvising, right? The key will only give you a little bit. The chords give you the full roadmap for soloing and improvisation purposes. And this is a simple two chord change, just an E minor to a C suspended second. Back, you could use E minor pentatonic and blues over both chords all day long. It relates to all. And you could also use E natural minor, E aeolian mode over both chords. And that's what we're going to do here. Um, because this device I'm going to show you works a little bit better with three notes per string. I'll show you in a couple positions what they look like. So we'll use this one off of the A string root at the 7th fret. It's our E note and the shape looks like this. And then we'll also use the one for example over the low E string root at the 12th fret. This one. And if you would like to see these scales diagrammed out on paper, sometimes that really helps, you know, to make that visual connection, to see it laid out in front of you. I can help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my free Rock Blues ebook. It's packed with over 30 scale diagrams, lessons, and soloing strategies, music theory, all kinds of great stuff. I'll send you that and a free video lesson on how you could really spice up your playing, some really easy ways. It's a great package. Get the ebook and the video lesson. Just click on that link below. So this lick device works with most scales. You could build tons of licks with it. Let's show it to you first over here. Um, playing a lick like this, I'll do it slow. <laughs> Right? And you could build the speed up in that, you could go on forever with it. But what I'm basically doing is I'm barring, in this particular example, the G and the B strings at the 7th fret. First thing I do is a pull off 8 to 7, then a pull off on the G string from uh, 9 to 7. Now that first finger should stay barred. Pretty cool lick right there. Get that down first. I do it twice. And then I throw that lick in. Because remember on that B string, you have these three notes in that scale. That lick when I throw in the B string is... Okay, so you do a pull off again from 8 to 7 on the B string. Then with your pinky, grab the 10th fret and pull that off to the 7th. Then go back and repeat that eight to seven pull up and then do this the nine to seven on the G string so you get this slow but notice that device it's the device the device is two adjacent strings where you could bar your first finger and then you're pulling off notes you could do that same thing on the high E and the B string, right? Same exact thing. It's nice in this particular scale. I'll show you it in a, up here. And it's, it's a little different because you're using different fingers. Here, you know, you have that same fingering on adjacent strings, that one, two, four, one, two, four. So that's perfect for this device. So here, it would sound like this. Second 
second, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel, that really helps us. It really helps us to keep bringing the content, right? Um, leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this video. Let us know what le videos or lessons you'd like to see coming up. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, please share the video. And we thank you so much for your support. Let's move it here up over into this um, low E string root of that scale. And let's bar again the high E and the B with the first finger. The lick will sound like this. All right, let me slow it down for you. And then just on the high E string, you do the uh, 14 to 12 pull, 15 to 12 pull, 14 to 12 pull. And then go back to the 15th with the pinky on the B string pull off to the 12. It's a great workout for the pinky. And then you could do variations like what if you don't use the pinky on the high E string and you just go. That time I did two extra ones, 14 to 12 on the high E string. 14, pull 12, hammer 14, pull 12. Then go up to 15, 12 on the B string. So it sounds like this slow. Think of this like your E minor triad, E, G, B, right? I'm up here at the 17th fret on my E note on the B string. 15th fret high E, 19th fret high E. This is our E minor triad. So what I did there, again, I'm barring with my first finger on the 15th fret. Leave that down of that high E and B string. And I did pull offs. First I pulled off 19 to 15 on the high E. Then I pulled off 17 to 15 on the B. Practice that first. Right, get that down. Then, then what I did was I went, so 19 to 15, high E again, but then 17 to 15, high E. And then 17 to 15, B, slow. See how these licks can just kind of keep rolling. If you want to vary that a little bit, throw another set of notes in. So what I did there, okay, it's like think of it like a set of four, it's a group of four. First high E string, uh, 17 to 15 pull, 19 to 15 pull, 17 to 15 pull, 17 to 15 on the B string pull. So whatever scale you're working on, look for those combinations of notes where you could bar that first finger across adjacent strings and then just pick out using hammers and pull-offs, right, on those two strings going in between the scale notes. And you'll soon find a plethora, a cornucopia, an, a, a colossal amount of licks that you can build with this device. And hey, don't forget, click on that link below. I'll send you that free video lesson on how to dress up your scales and also has the ebook with all the scale diagrams, right? Send it to you for free, the video lesson and the ebook. Click below. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us to keep bringing the content. Leave a comment below, like, share, subscribe. We so appreciate your support over the years. Thank you so much. Stay tuned, we got tons more killer content and lessons coming up. Keep up all that hard work on that guitar. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock.